Oh, this is the, the match of, of magic round. Here come the Rabbitohs. And Alex Johnson having the honour in his 200th game of leading the team out. And there are plenty of South Sydney fans inside Suncorp Stadium. That man has been in terrific form in the last few weeks. Cody Walker, he will be a player to look out for tonight, the South Sydney 5-8. Oh, he's something special, you know. When he's on, and he's on most games, when he gets that ball at pace on the run, then he creates plenty of opportunities out wide. He can make a break himself. He throws a dummy. He's got a short kicking game as well as a long one. He just about got it all. And that guy there, Campbell Graham, he's been the inform player for South Sydney in the last four weeks, along with that man Latrell, who <laughs> he can do anything, Latrell. Well, he's anything. Picked, he's picked up 70 points for the Bunnies in the last four weeks. They've scored 138, so he's got more than half of their points in the last month of footy. He's in some form, great touch. Just look at the stars on show tonight in this South Sydney team as we hand across. Looking at them ready and their opponents, the Melbourne Storm. They know what it's like to play in big matches. They've been doing it for so long. Kristen Welsh about to lead the Storm on the Suncorp Stadium. Quite a few cheers, quite a few boos as well. But what an atmosphere. Coming off the bye. Justin Olam on screen. And Nelson Asopa Solomona, a couple of weeks ago, recommitting the Melbourne Storm to the future. A big plus for the team, Billy. I think he can be a real leader at the Melbourne Storm. You think of the, the great leaders that have been in the front row. Glenn Ruff, Lazarus, Robbie Kearns, Jesse Bromwich. I, I think Nelson can be the next one down in Victoria. Great success off the bye. The NRL teams have had six of the eight have won. Melbourne Storm nice and fresh for this. There's been a terrific build-up to this clash. Settle back wherever you are. Run, guys. Watching on this Saturday night. And enjoy what is set to be a great contest on Nine's Wide World of Sports. There's solid contact already on Nelson. Melbourne winning five weeks ago in round five, 18-10. It's a really intense arm wrestle that night at a core stadium in Sydney. South has been racking up the points since then. Melbourne fresh off the bye. Here's McMeany. He's hit hard. Stinging defence early on here from the Rabbitohs. Here's the last. It comes from Jerome Hughes. The milestone man, Alex Johnston. He hasn't scored, and this is 200th game, he hasn't scored in 91 of those games, those previous 191. So Melbourne will be looking to make sure he doesn't cross the line for his 170th try tonight. That's a strong carry from Tane Mill, the winger from the opposite side of the field. Sounds have shown so far this year that they have got plenty to offer an attack on both sides of the field. He's Cameron Murray into Storm Territory. Solid opening set of six here for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. No pressure, takes that one well. Let's get an update on conditions on this Saturday evening. Jonathan Thurston, you've got the best seat in the house for this one, JT. I certainly do, Salty. Uh, great conditions down here. The crowd is electric, as you can see on the screen. Current temperature, 19 degrees. I went and had a look on the field, too. This is obviously the third game on this field today, and uh, the pitch looks pretty good, so... 
As the Melbourne Storm get a penalty and we'll go on the attack, so the crowd is electric down here. Early penalty here for the Storm. There's Jerome Hughes, kicks the touch. You can see a lot of conversation going on between Harry Grant, Jerome Hughes and Cameron Munster. This is where the set plays come in, the set starts. Jerome Hughes getting a pass away to Cameron Munster. This is where they love to attack from Melbourne. Remus Smith is tackled. Great opportunity here for Melbourne early on. Christian Welsh. Solid defence there from Harmer Sellers. And he having a good season for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Hughes. Munster. Vero. That missed Justin Olam and will go into touch. So the attack breaks down. Yeah, that's ordinary play uh, early in the tackle count. Didn't have to throw that pass. Play the ball. Play the ball, guys. Completely unnecessary. Play it sort of broken down. Just take the tackle and away you go. You see Justin Olam was covered by Tane Milne. Just trying to squeeze too much out of the play. There's a lot of intent early in this match, isn't there, Fatty? They're, oh, they're yeah. both on these two teams. You can, you can tell it's a quality contest. Forwards are ripping in, and, and I noticed the markers are chasing hard. Uh, penalty to the Bunnies, laying on the defender, on the tackler. Just to note, the South yeah, Sydney Rabbitohs, uh, and uh, they are wearing black so armbands so tonight. And it is following the passing of Tavita Totola's father Front earlier front this week. So we send our condolences to the family of Tavita Totola. His father had the same name. So it's quite often you'll see Tavita Totola, the Rabbitoh, references Junior Totola. Stouse now, their turn to get deep inside Melbourne Storm territory. Michael Cheekham, very good game here against the Dolphins recently. Damian Crew takes off. King was one of the defenders there on the South Sydney number nine. Lachlan Ilias goes to dummy half with Murray to Cody Walker. Beautiful hands in game 200. Alex Johnson will be cut short by a metre. They're knocking on the door. Latrell with a kick. Oh, oh wow. that's beautiful. What a play. Wow. Cody Walker scores the try. Laid on by Latrell Mitchell. The Stars are out tonight. Well, I don't know how Alex Johnston didn't score that try. It was great scramble defence by the Melbourne Storm, but didn't the class rise to the top on the next play? Harvey Norman replay. Here's the shift out to the left. Beautiful pass here by Cody Walker and, and Alex Johnson. Well, he scores them nine times out of ten, but Co oh, that is just brilliant. That is instinctive football. Luttrell was going to pass it to his right and then decides against it last minute, puts it on the right toe, and that's a beautiful try to opening proceedings here tonight. I don't reckon he kicked off his right foot for about 15 years, and, and all of a sudden, the wrong foot, and he's decided to put one in, a little speculator, and there they were. That was a great try. Well, he, Wonderful. He, he didn't think about that, Fat. He he didn't think twice about kicking that ball. It was just pure instinct and class, skill, and a, and a great combination between these two men. The troll converts. with the opening try of the night. He's playing his 40th consecutive game tonight as Cody Walker. Durable 5'8", didn't make his debut. Of course, he was 26 years of age, but what a career he's certainly carving out in the National Rugby League. 
But I couldn't even imagine Craig Bellamy getting upset at that try because he's got no one to blame. He's just gone, you know what? Latrell's just too good. Just too good for us there. Yeah, they didn't do much wrong. It was Nelson and Silver who got over to, to stop the try from Alex Johnston. Here they go again, the Bunnies. Ten short of halfway. Not afraid to use the football early here, South Sydney. The captain certainly getting involved heavily early. Cameron Murray playing the ball right in the centre of Suncorp Stadium. Off the Nilius. To kick down Fields. Strong kick return there by Xavier Coates. Justin Olam. Melbourne were looking for a penalty there. Not forthcoming. He's told to get up and get on with it. It's a terrific atmosphere. Great start to the game. Here's Christian Welsh going into South Sydney Territory. Last tackle here for the Melbourne Storm. Jerome Hughes. Plenty of time to put that kick in the air. It's taken here by Alex Johnston. And Jerome following his kick through, leading the chase for his team as he does quite often. Nelly Katoa there as well. Campbell Graham playing the ball on his own 20 metre line. Ilias, they go down the short side, the troll Mitchell. Beautiful ball, Campbell Graham in full flight. He's going to be wrapped up, gets the pass out in the back. Damian Cook quickly fires the ball here to Cody Walker. Why wouldn't you? He kicks the goal area. It's a beautiful kick. The chase is on, and the Storm have got it through Will Warbrick, who saves the day. But this is great stuff from the Rabbitohs. Uh, quality, quality, and more quality. You see Latrell Mitchell go down. Beautiful little flick pass to Campbell Graham. He loses the ball, but it goes backwards. Cook gets the ball to Cody Walker and just this quality kick. He sees space and just waits it perfectly. A real high percentage play. Here come the Rabbitohs. On the line. They're in great touch at the moment, the Bunnies. I love that instinct that these players possess. Short kick, drop off uh, right here. Oh. South have got it. Oh, they got it through Alex Johnson. Right place, right time. The bat back men had straightened his stomach. Here's Hamasella. Cook surveying the situation at dummy half. It's a set restart here for the Rabbitohs. Tavita Totola. Stands in the tackle, plays it now. It's with Cody Walker through the hands as they pass. He's going to be wrapped up. Remus Smith got him. Cook. Murray. Welsh down low, Grant over the top. Now Damien Cook, Lockdamilius, beautiful hands. It's gone backwards into Josh King and Melbourne survive. Yeah, a bit of luck there by the Melbourne Storm. It came off Xavier Coates and then ricocheted back into a, another Melbourne defender. Turn left shoulder. Now they get a relieving penalty. They've, they've been perfect to start the game, the Bunnies, in this opening 11 minutes. You see here, here's the ricochet of Xavier Coates and then goes backwards into Josh King. Craig Bellamy, the Melbourne Storm coach. He's coaching the box. You can tell the game's early on. He's just sitting there watching. He's not pacing. Nick Meany. Been in terrific form and gets an offload after that great run to Cameron Munster. Oh, Harry Grant. Now Christian Wells through the hands they go. Jerome Hughes is meany. Now Remus Smith tries to split them. He's still staying alive. Melbourne with a great chance. Inside the Rabbitohs 20. 
Heaney to Hughes. Now King. Muster. Hierro. Lachlan Ilias with the initial contact. Michael Cheekham finished off the tackle. Harry Grant goes to dummy half. Grant scheming. Goes to Hughes. Here's the skipper, Welsh. Christian Welsh. No offload coming. Ilias was really good there. And wrapping up the ball, but it's a set restart. Press set of six. That was deep in the tackle count as well. Nelson Asafa Solomona. Stopped a few metres away from the line. What an opportunity it is here for Melbourne to hit back. Hughes to Meany. Good ball to Warbrick. Will Warbrick gets to the ground. Just from the Rabbitohs, defenders thought about trying to get him over the touchline. King. Straight up the middle goes the Melbourne Storm number 13, Josh King. Newcastle Junior gets up and plays it. Hughes. All goes to ground, but it's okay for Melbourne because Will Warbrick's got it. Last play here for the Melbourne Storm. Hughes kicking. Here's the contest. Xavier Coates, it's all backwards. Justin Oliver got his hand to the ball here for a Melbourne yep. Storm try. It went backwards yep. off Coates. Is this a four-pointer for Justin Olam? Well, he flew early, Xavier okay, Coates. Restarting the tackle count, Jerry. But well, because I've got the initial touch from Melbourne backwards, then hits the south play. We'll see if there's a knock-on from Melbourne. So they're going to have a look at this. Just watch Xavier Coates. You can see what Jerome Hughes is looking at. He's trying to get a one-on-one -on -one situation. Yep. Kick. Kick chase on the left is on side. Boy, he gets up high. The ball's initially backwards off Xavier Coates. Just looking to see who the ball comes off after it bounces. Well, it's backwards off Graham, if anything. Just looking to see whether the ball touches Campbell Graham's hands. Yeah, the ball is knocked on by Campbell Graham in goal. And is then grounded by South Sydney. Have a decision. Cam, I need the left edge better on 10, Cody. Yeah, we'll just keep an eye on that. Wait, Xavier wait, wait, Coates, one-on-one on one with Tane Mill. I need you better on 10, all right? I don't think that'll be the last time Jerome Hughes time on. kicks to his flying winger. Short dropout attempt by South Sydney. Melbourne have got it. That was a short one, but, but straight ahead. Christian Welsh, the bike to Tola. Murray was there as well. Now King. Grant goes to dummy half. Melbourne on the front foot here. Trying to apply the blowtorch. Nelson Asafa Solomona, he's wrapped up. Penalty Melbourne, they're inside the 10. Sweet. Adam, Adam the right side. hammering South Sydney. Ken, I just went Penalties. to that three penalties on 10. They're going early. What's up, mate? They're moving off early. And usually they call a six to go, but Adam G wanted penalty. to make it official. He told the captain, so we you know what happens after that. They've had a heap of possession down this end of the field. Can they turn it into points? Wells playing it. Harry Grant. Nowhere to go for him there. Good tackle from Marco by Michael Cheekham. Cameron Munster goes to dummy half. Here's his halfback, Jerome Hughes. Gently arrow. Playing the ball, eight away from the line. Hughes, Munster, winding up is Nelson. They bring him to ground. She came down low to Tola and Ilias over the top. Hughes, deft little kick in the goal area. 
there for Katoa. Grounded. Souths have grounded it. Shoulder to shoulder. Another dropout coming. Yeah, this will tear it to Souths. If they can get through this without Melbourne scoring, this will do them the world of good, especially mentally. And, and they're handling Big Nelson and Sofa very well. They're getting there in numbers. The first contact's really strong on him. Low. Yeah, and low. The legs. It's, it's good. They, they, they've had this ability this year to absorb pressure. They did it to the Broncos last week in, in the first 20 minutes as we see Joy Arrow come on the field. Some fresh legs already. But they can absorb pressure like, like anyone. Short again. There's the contest. And they've got it through. Sell it. Back back from Melbourne and it landed here in the South Sydney front rower. Jai Arrow, terrific off the bench last week against the Broncos. And South Sydney finally getting some respite. Melbourne Storm had four sets in a row. Jacob Host. A consistent performer for this South Sydney Rabbitohs team. Damien Cook, Cody Walker. Well read there by the Storm defence. Kristen Welsh it was, and he's slow to get up here, Cody. Ilias. Meany's left it behind. Munster's there to clean up. Justin Olam. Melbourne still inside their own 20 here. Xavier Coates now. Put on his back, some strong defence. Sele again. Toa, Remus Smith. South are there in numbers. There's nowhere to go for Melbourne. Christian Welsh. He's wrapped up. Duke Arrow and Murray in the tackle. Last tackle here for Melbourne. They'll be kicking from inside the 40. Cameron Munster puts his boots straight through that ball. It's on the bounce here for Tane Mill. Terrific chase there from Melbourne. Well, a good end of the set for the Melbourne Storm. All that defence has taken, starting to take a little toll. There's still five South players not back on side. Very slow to get back on side. There's the outside backs who have got to do some work. Take the ball up. Tom Burgess. Hello. Hello. We've got a penalty. no response. Tom Burgess just stuck on. He's sporting a pretty snazzy... Is that a haircut? He's, he's, had, he's got a salty. <laughs> <laughs> but he could grow it back. I can't. <laughs> Why would you do that if you've got hair? Mind you, we're just thinning out when you see it like that. So, <laughs> at least it's a conventional haircut, not something Jai Arrow's produced. There he is, Burgess. Here is Jai Arrow. They're on the 20 metre line here, South Sydney. Damien Cook. Lachlan Ilias. Michael Cheekham. He stopped nine away from the line. Ilias. Now Murray to Walker. Short ball. Jacob Host is in. South Sydney extend their lead. Through Jacob Host, their consistent second rower is on the board. Yeah, Cody Walker will get the try assist for this, but just watch what Cameron Murray does for his number six. He sets him up and preserves the space. Harvey Norman replay goes deep into the line and just shifts Ali Katoa in, which creates the space for Jacob Host and his little half, Cody Walker. Beautiful play by the 13. And Cody Walker, well, he's smart enough to pick the right option. Yeah, so one-on-one -on -one miss by Jerome Hughes, but look, he was he was running through him as Jerome Hughes is trying to make the tackle, and he just was too late. It's a very good run by Host. JT? It's a great run by 
Burgess, which gets Katoa double defending, having to keep his inside shoulder. And that allows Cody Walker to get on the outside. And we see a great run by Burgess. Katoa has to defend that. And Cody Walker, just nice ball onto Jose. The bunnies are on fire. They've been near perfect. It's 10 completed sets from, from 11 opportunities. Just consistent with the football, applying pressure. And when the opportunity's there, make the play, execute. Latrell Mitchell looking to convert. And he does. in front of the storm. South Sydney looking for five wins in a row. They've started perfectly. Zai Arrow. Playing the ball on his own 20 metre line. And they get out to the 30 through Chi Cam. Just get up and play it. Murray stopped there by Welsh and Harry Grant. Cook goes to the try scorer and host. On the halfway line, here's the last. Lachlan Ilias, it's a wobbly old kick. It's taken there by Xavier Coates. Injuries for Xavier Coates in his time at Melbourne. It's only his 25th game for the club tonight. He's got 20 tries in those you know, 25 games. Woodward playing it. It's Katoa. Nelly Katoa, that's a strong run. Into South Sydney territory he goes. Welsh, out the back, Munster. No short, the arrow. Last tackle here now for the Melbourne Storm. Munster. Puts it high, and Latrell Mitchell knocks it back. Jerome Hughes has got it. And Melbourne can continue to apply the pressure. Searching for their first points of the night. And that's not what they wanted. First one's backwards, knocking on the ground. Fumble on the ground. Yeah, knock on against Melbourne. First one went back, but shot clock on. Just a tiny one. Shot middle. Back towards the opponent's try line. It's a rip free for Souths. Bit of cuddle from Cameron. Cameron on Cameron. the error from the Melbourne Storm. Hold tight. Hold there. South Sydney now coming out of their own ends. Burgess. There's solid contact there in that tackle. Tristan Wells meeting in front on. Wilson going in there for two tackles in a row on Arrow, and it's very rare that you see Ty Arrow forced back in a tackle. Murray. Grant, Munster, Sofa Solomon are in there. He's been mighty tonight, Ken Murray. First set of six house had the ball tonight when he had two hit-ups in there and he's basically been doing that every every 
every set in terrific form. Yeah, you can see fatigue starting to, to set in. He'll get his second wind and, and continue on, but he's in the thick of it, Cam Murray. Olam. Tackle two. The call of held came just as he passed that ball. Remus Smith. Hands an attack, now plays the ball. Tom Eisenhuth is on the field for Melbourne, as is Aaron Penne, so Craig Bellamy has gone to his bench. Mustard Amini tries to accelerate. Ilias does really well. Terrific one-on-one -on -one tackle by the South Sydney halfback. Munster now kicks. He wants a contest here. Johnston's underneath it. And it's knocked on by Melbourne. Or last touch yep. from Melbourne and a 20-metre restart here for South. Well, it was Ali Katoa, the back rower, flying through that knocked it on. You're going to have to get in position here, the Melbourne Storm, because the Bunnies, they got seven tackles. Telstra has some of the best defence in the business, tackling millions of cyber threats every day. Rabbitohs on the halfway line. Control Mitchell. Alex Johnston tackled there by Tyrone Hughes. Zaya Tass to Cody Walker, to Tom Burgess. Cook. Ilias has got options. Kick there for Tane Milne. And he's trying to bat it back into play, but goes to the touch. Well, this is why the right side of the South Sydney Rabbitohs have been really dangerous this year. Cody Walker usually plants himself on that left side, but just drifted across to the right-hand side, Front created side. an opportunity for Tane Milne. He's floating around all over the place, Cody. Warbrick slow to get to his feet to play that one. Tower tackled by... Cody Walker and Jacob Host. Remus Smith playing the ball. King, Munster. Here they go. Meany to Xavier Coates. Tries to split them, but nowhere to go there for Xavier. Aaron Penney. Melbourne Storm went to the Warriors, now back to the Storm. Jerome Hughes. Alex Johnston underneath it. Plenty of protection. Took it comfortably. Zaya Tass. Hit another solid tackle. That time King was the enforcer in there. Tane Mill coming off his wing for a run. Oh, Penalty, South Sydney. That's a nice relief for them. I'm so impressed. I know they're leading 12 nil. I'm so impressed with their defence tonight. They had that stint. There was 20 to 30 tackles on their own line. But their cover defence, just their initial contact in every tackle has been tremendous tonight. JT? Yeah, the Melbourne Storm. The Bunnies' tries have come off penalties. Their first two tries. Now they've got a third penalty. Uh, no doubt the Melbourne Storm will have to muscle up here in defence to try and stop that from happening. Burgess playing it. Try arrow. He's wrapped up. 22 metres away. Murray, full flight, tangled there by Harry Grant, Tom Eisenhut there as well. Yeah, up and play it, Cook. Jacob Host, nine away from the line. Last play here for the Rabbitohs. 
Ilias. Kicks it in goal area. It's not a bad one. And they're going to force Xavier Coates back in goal. In fact, it was a very good kick there by the South Sydney halfback. He just weighted it perfectly. Lachlan Ilias didn't overplay his hand here. You saw the, the space. And threaded the needle. And Campbell Graham, he's having a great season. Just gets down there. It's in behind Xavier Coates. Just watch how he holds him up. Make sure he doesn't get back in the field to play. They're applying the blowtorch here, the Rabbits. Goes short. It goes 10. And Gatoa's got it for the storm. Goes straight away to Tom Eisenhuth. And he couldn't find Cameron Munster, who was yelling to him on his inside. They get a penalty now anyway, no. Melbourne. No, the decision is the decision is a high tackle. Wait, 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 wait. It's foul play they review. Here's the tackle. Cam Murray, was it? Yeah, a lazy swinging arm. Please. Soft as a two-minute edge, that one. That, that's no penalty. <laughs> Just brushed up off the shoulder, turn it. <laughs> King. Playing the ball here for Melbourne. That's a right new short ball to Katoa. Host, Tass and Walker in there for South Sydney. Melbourne still searching for their first points of the night with less than 10 minutes left in the first half. Tom Eisenhuth. He's wrapped up. 19 away. Strong charge from Aaron Penne. Now Munster. Kicks here for Liero. And they... Had it dead. So another repeat set Shot coming in from Melbourne. Yeah, there was a play in that set by Harry Grant. Just a, a little bit of craft out of dummy half. And he put one of his forwards, Aaron Penne, in behind the ruck. And this is the time of the game that the two number nines will come into their own. Harry Grant and Damien Cook up against some tied, tied forwards. Just keep an eye on the number nines. Goes 10, taken easily there by Xavier Coates. Xavier Cook doing well. Tyaro finishing off the tackle. King. He's wrapped up. Five metres away from the line. Can Melbourne score in this first half? Cameron Munster. Beanie juggles, maintains possession. Changes. The point of the attack back towards the centre of the ground. It's a set restart here for Melbourne. South Sydney are inside the 10. Fresh set of six now for the Storm. Eisenhut, Jerome Hughes, long ball. Will Warbrick stop, wait for it, lost momentum. Great scramble. South there in numbers again. Harry Grant. Bounce with Munster to Meany. Meany goes on his own this time. He's wrapped up. Another terrific tackle by Lachlan Ilias. Tom Eisenhuth. Grant to Munster. Cameron Munster. He stopped. Three of them getting the ground. Last play here for Melbourne. Grant. Now they go to Xavier Coates. And South have got it through Michael Cheekham. Take a bow, South Sydney. Great defence. Yeah, first class defence by South Sydney. That's that's premiership winning defence, that sort of stuff. This opening 34 minutes, it's been quite unbelievable what South have been displaying without the football. That little halfback's a demon attack. If he goes good, Ilias. He'd have been good back in the 70s. Diving in, round the hips, slide down, legs, down. Now South looking to shift. 
Messiah Tass. Elias passing this time. Kick there from the troll. Mitchell from inside the 40. Oh, he stayed in the field of play there, Xavier Coates. Great take. And then to be able to stop like that. Stop after taking that. Have a look at this. Oh, could have went out on the fall. Could have been a 40 20. Liero playing the ball. Hughes. Warbrick. The tower goes to dummy half. Jerome Hughes with the ball. Now King. Fun start through the hands, Beanie, Justin Ola, oh, good tackle. Tane Mill stopping Justin Ola. Last play here for Melbourne. Munster with a kick, beautifully weighted, and Melbourne have got it. This will be a try to the Melbourne Storm. And the Storm are on the board. Well, Cody Walker's going up to the referee in protest. He was the one that left the ground to take the ball. It looked like he had it. In the Melbourne Storm, Harvey Norman replay. You know, Cameron Munster puts it in a perfect position right underneath the post. You see Cody Walker going up there, Eli Katoa competing, and the ball just ends up in Remus Smith in his grasp. The Melbourne Storm just before half time. Boy, did they need some points. Rima Smith with the try. Right place, right time for the Melbourne Storm Centre. Yeah, you got to put yourself in the picture. And Rima Smith, Ellie Katoa was the one that competed for the football. Just put enough pressure on Cody Walker. He's still protesting the South Sydney Rabbitohs. It's been confirmed, the trial contest. Well, the try's been confirmed. It's his first try of the season for Remus Smith. I think I think Cody was upset that he feels as though he was taken off the catch, you know what I mean? But they were both contesting the, the ball. So there's no drama there. And the referee just confirmed that with Luttrell. Said it was a contest. Yeah. And Cody's got no idea what it looks like. He just feels like he's been tackled in the air. So... He feels well within his rights to, to protest that, but the Melbourne Storm will be 12 points to the six. They're back in this contest. Reverse and successful. Four-pointer there for Remus Smith. 12 points to six. We have got a game on our hands here at Suncorp Stadium. Saturday night in Magic Round. Hope you're enjoying the weekends. Wherever you're watching right across Australia, don't forget at halftime, one of the nation's great athletes, gold medal winning swimmer, Harry Antipas, will join the team during the half-time break. Looking forward to that. Yeah, she came into our box earlier and she's a charming young lady. And uh, what a great swimmer she is. World Championships later this year. And Paris next year. You know where you'll see the Olympics ball, don't you? Channel 9. That's right. You'll be there. Calling the uh, swimming, the pole vaulting, <laughs> soccer, everything. What will you call? I will be 
uh, back here on the Gold Coast, well retired. <laughs> to management you re-signed for five years New South Sydney less than two minutes left in the first half Billy Slater is going to be in the equestrian in Paris ten short of halfway here the Rabbitohs set restart here he's just getting a little bit Sloppy there defensively for Melbourne, and they've been punished. Slow to get off the tackle player. And Souths are up again here late in the half. Jacob Host. They sense an opportunity here, South Sydney. And it's another set restart. Jai Arrow. A minute left before half time. And a very important minute now in the context of the game. Seacam. It's great to see Liam Knight out in the field at 16. He's got the ball. Ilias quick hands. And they've got it here, South. Okay, as he spun. But it's a knock okay. on by Jacob Host. First South and Melbourne. Yeah, Jerome Hughes comes First rushing out of the, the defensive line. Shot clock on. Put pressure on Lachlan Ilias. He got the pass away. Just couldn't over. find the target. You see Jerome Hughes in the headgear comes rushing out of the, the defensive line. And then Ilias tries to get the ball to host. And that was a crucial period. Bunny score there. They're back to a, a 10 to 12 point lead. You can just see from where we're sitting in the commentary box high up in Suncorp Stadium. As soon as they got that initial set restart, South Sydney, the likes of Cody and Lachlan Ilias, and Latrell just really up the ante. Last play. Of an enthralling and entertaining first 40 minutes. Easy, easy. No, already held. Already held. Called held here. Called Tane out. Tane Milne can stop. Referee Adam G called held. The siren has sounded, and that is half time here at Suncorp Stadium. The game living up to the billing at the break. The South Sydney Rabbitohs leading the Melbourne Storm by 12 points to six. Melbourne Storm will be kicking things off here for the second half. Stay Great up. atmosphere inside Suncorp Stadium. The fans that are here and you're watching on nine are being treated to a great contest by two outstanding NRL teams. And there's some solid contact on Burgess from Penne to open proceedings in the second half. Enjoy the ride for this second 40. Knight playing the ball. Dry arrow. Good on his back. And he's lost it. Saw so a little bubble there. It just bubbled as he hit the ground. Yeah, he was grimacing too. You see Joy Arrow. Who was it? Tom Eisenhuth up underneath. And they drive him into the turf. He might be just winded there, Joy. In a, a very physical start by the Melbourne Storm, and they'll get the first opportunity. Ten seconds, Harry. Let's go. Well, they've elected to move the scrum out 20 metres in from touch on the far side, the eastern side of Suncorp Stadium. Of course, they can't elect where they want to take the, the scrum, either there in the middle or the other side of the field. So, big backline set here. Have they got a move ready? Well, they might have, but Cameron Munster threw a dummy. Went into the line himself. Tackled by Arrow and Cook. Aaron Penne been strong off the bench tonight. Josh King leading the tackle count. Harry Grant up there as well. King with 29. Grant with 25. Melbourne, 22 away from the line. Tom Eisenhuth. Chance here for the Storm to grab their second try and potentially level things up. Jerome Hughes, Ali Katoa. Good tackle, Damien Cook, last play, Melbourne. Munster kicks for Xavier Coates. It's taken beautifully out there by Tane Milne. He read that well, well Milne. He prepared for it. He, he took a couple of steps back. 
and then came forward and jumped. He hit the hand up perfectly. Cook to dummy half as Campbell Graham plays the ball. Michael T. Cam wrapped up. House on their own 20. Liam Knight. Plenty of injuries for Liam Knight. And he's been through a lot off the field, and it's great to see him out there this evening. What an important player he is for his team. He's, he's on the field, he's one of their leading forwards. There's some fancy footwork, but might come all unstuck here by Xavier Coates. Just stays in the field of play. Yeah, Campbell Graham nearly held him up. Enough to drag him over the sideline. He just got his studs in the ground, Xavier Coates. Hughes. Melbourne now coming out of their own end. Danica, down to you. It's been a great showing of fan support over the weekend. And today we have the official attendance record of 50,183 rolling through the gates here at Suncorp Stadium. They're a little bit more weary than they were yesterday, so we're looking forward to see who turns out tomorrow. One thing we do know is that the house full sign is up again tomorrow. Right on. It's from 3 o'clock. Roosters v Cowboys tomorrow afternoon. And the Cowboys find some form. Sunday footy. Hey, stop. You locked him in. Eventually play the ball here for the Rabbitohs. Tyson Huth in there, Harry Grant as well. It's a game of chess in the opening minutes of the second half. Ilias, heaps of time for him to put that kick up. Well, there's a knock on from Xavier Coates, and now South Sydney will have a scrum feed. Yeah, the time. That Melbourne Storm gave Lachlan Nilius to kick the ball. It allowed the chasers to get through and put pressure on Xavier Coates. You see here, Nilius, no pressure on him, so he runs about four or five steps, which brings his chasers onto the ball, and they got enough pressure on Xavier Coates for him to fumble it. This is where they go to work, the Bunnies. You see Cody Walker and Latrell Mitchell on this left-hand side of the scrum. Shot clock off, Ellie tight. Nick, Nick, arms around. Ellie tight. They're planning something. Let's go. They could fool us all and go the other way. It's exactly what they do. Lachlan Ilias. Here's a chance for Tane Milne, but he's wrapped up. I think Ilias saw Justin Olam in front of him and he got rid of it pretty quick. Knight. Knight taken by King. Burgess on the charge. Tom Burgess. Looking like Kojak out there playing the ball. Latrell Mitchell. Great kick in game 200. Alex Johnston grabs try number 170 in his career. And too good. Just too good Latrell Mitchell. <laughs> I think the plan was originally to go through the hands on the Harvey Norman replay. He was going to pass a dummy, and then he just saw the space. Beautiful stuff by South Sydney.
So much class by Latrell Mitchell. He had so much time to kick the ball, but, but Cody Walker, you watch how he doesn't move forward. He allows the rushing defence to come to him, and that gives him time and gives his number one time to make the right decision. And you've got a rushing defence coming at you off the try line. The key is not to move forward and take your time away. He just allows that defence to come to him and then dishes it off to his fullback and the, the class just rose to the top. That's the second try assist off Latrell Mitchell's boot. 170 tries for Alex Johnston. Latrell Mitchell looking to convert. Across the face, no goal. Ten-point lead for South Sydney over the Melbourne Storm. There's still plenty of time for a lot of twists and turns in this encounter. Up down, square! Hold! Wait! Terrific night of entertainment for us on this Saturday evening. mentioned tomorrow afternoon it's Roosters v Cowboys be putting Joey and Freddie to work tomorrow afternoon they'll have their feet up watching this game I'm sure tonight Sunday footy show from here at the stadium tomorrow as well as South looking to shift again Isaiah Tass Troll went the dummy half Jacob Host now Melbourne player came really back. It's Tom Eisenhuth. Catch something around his throat. Oh, he split. Oh, no, he split up the top. Yeah. yeah. Might have been a bit of friendly fire by Josh King. Just watch his hand come around. Cops a little bit of a whack from, from Josh King. Australia's greatest rivalry, State of Origin, is back in 2023. Tickets are on sale now. Don't miss your chance to see the action live. Head to nrl.com slash tickets now. Got your ticket, Billy? Yeah, two weeks tomorrow. We'll sit down and work out what our best team looks like and New South Wales will do the same. Jerome Hughes. Straight and like that back, and then looks to turn defence into attack. Master de Liero. Good bit of footwork. Didn't match up that good footwork with a good pass. Easy, watch him. And now they've gone into touch oh, no, no, here. No. Tane Mill defending the tackle. Uh, he just How's your team looking, Billy? Have you got any problem areas or? It's all looking wanted. good. No problems, Pat. Excellent. Play the ball. No problems. Well, we've got some players putting their hand up and telling Queensland that they're capable of doing a job for, for their in. state. Well, it's a great time of the year. Great battle. Always is. Can't wait for it. We'll see all three Origin games exclusive live and three right here on Nines Wide World of Sports. Jai Arrow getting up and playing it here for South Sydney. Liam Knight solidly in that tackle. Cook, Walker, Host. Host is stopped. Two tackles left in this set. They're 20 metres away from the storm line. Knight. What about a pass? Eventually gets an offload there to Burgess. Now host. Tackled by Remus Smith and Jerome Hughes. 
Last play here for South Sydney. T Cam. Now it's the last. Now it was the last. Turnover. Late cut. Can count to six. Important period of the game here for Melbourne. The next try in this contest, Paul, is vital, but now they've turned the ball over. Campbell Graham's got it. Burgess on the charge. Ten away from the line. Fresh set of six here for South Sydney. It's with Jai Arrow. Cook, Walker, oh beautiful hands, he's in again, a double in a milestone game for Alex Johnston. Yeah, they found their rhythm on this left hand side as Alex Johnston picks up his second try tonight and takes him to 700, uh, 700, 171 tries. Harvey Norman replay, again Cody Walker instrumental in the play. Beautiful pass out to Tass, and then Tass just distributes it to the try scoring machine, Alex Johnston. He's been he's been an unsung hero for the Rabbitohs, Isaiah Tass. He gets a try assist on that occasion, but been very solid in defence. Young Queensland boy from Mackay. But it still all starts in the forwards, and uh, Burgess, Tom Burgess tonight, has been outstanding. I mean. They're not the fly. Remember when Tom, George, and Sam all played and they come off the back fence and they're not the same players. Tom's not the same player as then, but he's still really effective. Gets the ball on the trot and just charges into that line. You know, makes a half a break most times and then from a quick play of the ball, they're on the go. JT? Yeah, again, it come off the back of an error from Nelson and so far Solomona and the bunnies make them pay, but I want to talk about the pass from. Damien Cook, uh, they got right out to Cody Walker and uh, they were under the pump, Melbourne Storm, and come up and tried to shut it down and they couldn't do that. So as Luttrell moves in for the kick. And it's a beauty. Johnston. I think I had him at 700 and something there for a second. Up now, Josh! Wait, wait! That's Ken Irvine. Let go, Brunson! Paul. Billy, will, will he catch how, him? how old is he? 28 or 29? Yeah, he'll catch him. Ken Irvine, 212? Yeah. I've got no doubt. Yeah, I've got no doubt he'll catch him. And you look at the bunnies and how successful they are this year. They're only going to get better next year with Jack White coming to the club. I, I think they're going to have a real successful period over the next few years. And and he's going to be on the end of a lot of that, that good stuff that Latrell and Cody are, are bringing to the team. My man David Middleton says at his current rate, it'll take him 50 games. There you go. Or so, yeah. so that's another one. Two seasons. Yeah. 30. He'll do no anyway. problem. He might get 250 tries. Oh, yeah. At the end of his career. Breaking news, Danica. Yes, some good news. A welcome relief for the Melbourne Storm. Tom Eisenhuth, he did go off uh, for that nasty cut to his head uh, and was tested for a head injury, but he has passed it and he will be back into the action. Melbourne now. Looking for a spark. They're still in this contest. Plenty of time. There's a lot of points in this Melbourne Storm team, but there's a very good defence from South Sydney. Jerome Hughes playing the ball on the last tackle. Munster. He 
easy take in the end for Milne. He's wrapped up there, Bronson Garlic. Josh King. Milne playing it. Campbell Graham. The feature of his game is some of his runs coming out of their own end. Terrell Mitchell thought there was an opportunity down the short side. Tom Burgess over 100 metres, leading the metres gain statistics so far tonight. As Tavita Totola playing the ball. Murray inside ball. And penalty here, taken without the easy, ball. Easy. Yeah, Support back on the inside, Cameron Murray. Yeah, well, and okay. He was held off the ball. Back a bit, guys. Back a bit. Cody Walker it was. Yeah, you can see the opportunity playing out. There was a bit of space inside Cam Murray. It was uh, Katoa. Two guys. I'll take the two. Trell Mitchell lining up this shot of penalty goal to make it a three converted try lead for his team. Doesn't take a lot of time, Latrell, on his kicks. Latrell Mitchell. Off the upright, and Melbourne have got it. So Melbourne with the ball after that kick hit the upright. It is Nelson Asafa Solomona. King, Munster. He got a pass away, and now you just sense Melbourne trying to up the ante here with the South Sydney defence holding firm. Liero playing it. Garlic to Hughes. Here's a chance. Remus Smith. That's a good tackle, Isaiah Tass. Hughes kicks here for Harry Grant. Latrell Mitchell takes it. Harry Grant takes him. It happening here between no. Mitchell and Grant. Watson. Well, the trail Mitchell came over the top and give Harry Grant a bit on the ground. I'm not going to talk to all of you, so can you take your step back? It was a nice take by the trail. Take step back. And Harry ends up on the bottom, and the trail just sort of gives him a little elbow to the face. And give him another one there. Yeah. Listen, we've got a. Listen, we're going to play the ball. No, we're going to play the ball. There's nothing in it. You don't grab him, it doesn't carry on. We're going to play the ball. Stay, Luttrell, 10 metres. Yeah. Play on. Luttrell's lucky to get away with that. He's starting to push people in the head. Yeah, well done, Adam G. Saw what it was and there's nothing much in it. That missile that you just saw go through there was Nelson Asafa Solomona. And on the inside the Easy. 10 here. Went too Go. early, and oh. South get a penalty. I reckon he's given this penalty just to settle everyone down. There's a few, few hotheads out there. It looks like something's going to brew. He just wants them to get apart, settle down, boys. Just, a, just on the, yeah, the Melbourne so team, up, Billy, yeah, it just fine. seems to me that fine. Nelson Asopa is almost one out in this battle against the South forwards. He, his work rate's terrific, he's made metres, but there's so, no, no one backing him up for the next truck, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've been really impressed with, with South Sydney. They, they've given the Melbourne Storm absolutely nothing with their defence. Uh, they've been really impressive. And 
you're right, Nelson's got a bit of go forward in him, but they, they just look a little bit sideways for me with the football Melbourne. Savita to Tola. Here's Cody Walker. Beautiful inside ball. Quick play the ball. Damien Cook. Cook gets a pass away and Melbourne's defence standing firm. Walker eventually playing it. There's a mistake. And King has it. Just check contact here, Jerry. There's a good hard tackle. Just settle down, Nelson. The aero. Give him space. And Give him uh, space. the referee wants the, the contact checked here. Kevin Murray's one tough hombre. He doesn't stay down often. He's up now. Tom off. Patrol. Yeah. Patrol. Cam. Patrol. Adam G's calling Cameron Munster and Latrell Mitchell out. Cameron's on. Sorry, Cameron. Come, come in. Sorry, Cam Listen, Murray. The game can still be in anyone's game, right? But guys carrying on all want to have a bark at me. It's yeah. not on, right? Yeah. Play in the spirit. Yeah. It's like tough's fine, but keep it cool. Cool head. Good advice. Tough's fine, but keep it cool. Nicely said. <laughs> Let's go. We've got a scrum. Cameron Munster there as, as skipper with Kristen Welsh off the ground. He's just come back on, actually, Kristen Welsh. Do you trust Cameron Munster to pass on any messages to, to the rest of the team? Keep it cool. <laughs> Nowhere to go though for the Papua New Guinea International. Nelson is soft Solomona. He's wrapped up. Arian Seller in the tackle. Here's Christian Welsh now. Forced back. This is Steve Defence and the Rabbitohs. You know when he's on the field. Ame Sele. And a mistake there from Bronson Garlic. And, and this is what happens. Shot off the on. back of some contact from Harme Sale. It? it just puts the Melbourne Storm on the back foot when errors like this happen. He's done this multiple times tonight. Just got up underneath the, the ball carrier. This is the, the mistake. And Bronson Garlic just puts it down. He's having a great season, Harme Sale. Davy Moala, he's another one. They've got some good young forwards. The Rabbitohs. Hold the weight. An attacking scrum here for South Sydney. Walker to Graham. Liero and Olam in the tackle. One with Cameron Munster. Cody Walker. Tavita Totola. Eventually. Put him on the ground. South on the front foot. Armacello. Almost fell over the line at the call of Helds. Now Walker. Tass. Cody Walker goes to dummy half. Damien Cook. Great bit of footwork from Cook. He passes, Jerome Hughes has got it though. Then Melbourne survive again. Only just, Damien Cook looked really sharp off his right foot. And Melbourne, they needed this penalty. They haven't been able to get out of this end of the field. There's 17 minutes left, plenty of time for Melbourne. This South Sydney defence has been resolute so far tonight. Katoa playing the ball. Christian Welsh. How about that? Armacella in there again. Down low on Welsh. Munster. Meany. Rushes away from Graham. But here come the cavalry for South Sydney. 
They're in numbers every time. Munster. It's one of the most exaggerated dummies you'll ever see. It really worked. Garlic to Hughes, short to Katoa. Walker that time, a brilliant tackle. Last play here for Melbourne. Hughes, little kick, it's ricocheting everywhere and South have got it. They just keep turning up, the Rabbitohs. Yeah, the forwards done all the work, all the tackling in that set of six. And now look at this, the, the outside backs, the wingers, the centres, they start taking and working, working hard for Buckley Bunnies. Stories of Origin Season 2 is available now wherever you get your podcast. It's a brilliant podcast and the next one features the two Origin coaches, part of our team here at Ryan's Wine World of Sports, Brad Fittler and Billy Slater. First one is also out. Between Paddy and Sturlow. Stories of Origin, wherever you get your podcast from Munster, go see to Xavier Coates. Up square. Will they crack? Melbourne searching for answers. Hughes. Now Meany. Oh, he found Harry Grant who put it down. Easy there, easy there. We're having a scrum, He's guys. Hard onto his chest. I'll pick the other number up. nine couldn't handle it. So block on. They've been super impressive here tonight, the South Sydney Rabbitohs. If they go on with this one, this will be five in a row. Fatty, I just want to get your thoughts on the Bunnies. Where, where do you see them sitting in the Premiership race? Obviously, we've got the, the Broncos up the top of the ladder, but uh, I couldn't be any more impressed with the, the Rabbitohs here tonight, especially defensively. They're outstanding, and after tonight, they'll be second in the competition later behind the Bronx. But I, I think they're entitled now to be Premiership favourites. The way they've played the last five weeks, and you saw what they did to the competition leaders last week, the, the Brisbane Broncos, they smashed them. I can't see, at this stage, there's no weaknesses in the South Sydney team. And as long as the half keeps controlling it, Cody Walker, Campbell Graham and, and Latrell keep turning up, then yeah, they're, they're going to be hard to beat, that's for sure. Here goes Latrell. He stays in the field of play. Johnson a dummy half, Isaiah Tast and Jacob Host. Melbourne just hanging in there. Cook the dummy half. Murray inside to Totola. Katoa with a tackle. Cook, Walker with a kick. Here they come. Try Isaiah Tass. Gets a four-pointer. They're a special football team, the South Sydney Rabbitohs. They've got th so many threats across the park. And Cam Murray in the middle of the field puts Totola through a little bit of space. And just watch the absorption of Cody Walker. Harvey Norman replay allows the defence to come to him. And he's just got so much time to make the right decision and puts it on the left foot. And that's a try to Isaiah Tass, who certainly deserves one. I mentioned before, he's an unsung hero in this South Sydney team. He does a great job defensively, and he's picked up a four-pointer. Exclamation point. Bang. There it is. Beautiful play. <laughs> Try confirmed. And, that, you know, that's just what you get when you're South Sydney. I didn't think the defence... Once again, though, the defence rushes up and they make up South's mind for them. Instead of just holding Cody Walker's, if, he, if they hold, Cody Walker's got to work something out to try and get through. Once they rushed up, the decision was made for Cody Walker to kick. There it was.
Latrell Mitchell. Made a kick from here earlier. This one comes back. Uh -oh. That's a beauty. Isaiah Tass from Mackay in Queensland. Doing really good things in the centres for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. So tomorrow from 11am, the Sunday footy show will be live from Magic Round. Join Joey, Freddie and Billy as they wrap up Magic Round so far. Also Jai Arrow and Sean O'Sullivan join the panel. And Freddie's pass off will be live from the Caxton Hotel car park. Go to the Caxton and see Freddie's pass off. And I'm looking forward to talking to Sean O'Sullivan. He would have been at half time as, as the bunnies go down the left hand side. Alex Johnson again. inside ball and they've put it down. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't short let guys. an opportunity go by Cody Better Walker. Scrum. He just creates an overlap down the short side. Short on. It was four on four on two and picks the right player to give it to. Isaiah Tash just couldn't get that ball back inside to Latrell Mitchell. They're thirsty for more points here, the Bunnies. But yeah, Sean O'Sullivan joining the Sunday footy show tomorrow. What a win it was by the Dolphins tonight. Earlier in the earlier game against the Sharks, I don't know when we're going to start calling it not an upset. The Dolphins just keep performing. I'm telling you, even the Finns fans were surprised. Cronulla have been playing really well, good hard side, lots of potency in that side, and the Dolphins just smashed them. They drilled them. It was fantastic to watch. By the Dolphins. And we've got a couple of their games coming up over the next few weeks. Cam Murray's he's still on the ground. He put an almighty shot on Cameron Munster. Thanks, boys. Oh, wow. Look at, oh, look at that. Or, or don't look. Whichever way. He's I tell you what, these these players, they check their body in to give us a bit of entertainment. Oh, there's Bit of a head clash for Cam Murray, and then Munster goes through and he cleans him up again as well. Saying Billy, there's softer heads to run into at Suncorp Stadium tonight than Justin Olam. Oh, you, you've really got to applaud these players that just put everything on the line. There's Justin Olam. Oh, the back of Olam's head just goes straight into Cam Murray. Nelson and Safa Solomona is going to the ground awkwardly here and still on his back. Yeah, he's just holding that left knee. He's coming back from an MCL injury. Here's the live ladder. As you can see, the Rabbitohs are in second position. The Dolphins up to, to fifth spot yeah. after that win. Log jam there. And the team's on 12. Yeah, looks like. Looks like the Seagulls have disappeared this week, getting back to the under the, out of the top eight. You think about the injuries that that the Rabbitohs have had to start their season, and it's given the likes of Saleh and Tatola more, more game time. Well, Tatola's been one that's been out. And Davy Moala, who isn't here tonight, you get more minutes into those guys and more experience. Twenty-eight points to six, South Sydney in front of the Melbourne Storm. Tomorrow afternoon, coverage from three o'clock. It is the Roosters against the North Queensland Cowboys. Can the Cowboys rediscover their form of 2022 tomorrow? The Roosters 
We've got a perfect matching round record. Here's Katoa. Don't miss that one tomorrow. Coverage right here on Nines Wide World of Sports from 3 o'clock. Last play here for Melbourne. Little kick there from Meany. Mr. Anderson. Came on the field a few moments ago. Graham. Bring the ball. Just on the Dolphins' uh, result earlier. Congratulations, as Danica mentioned at half time, to Valence Tavare. Two tries on debut for the centre, New Zealander. Four. Yeah, nice uh, 900th game coaching, also by Can Wayne. Yeah. Well done, Wayne. And uh, those who were here and watched that game saw why Wayne is such a great coach. He, he's got a team that no one expected to really do well. And that they play for each other, play for the club, they play for him. And uh, that's why they won. Cameron. Murray's back, coming back. Is it? No, going off. Going off with that uh, head wound, yeah. Well, you wouldn't know it, him. He can do anything. He's a really good player. This, this game, it's the toughest game in the world. There's no doubt about it. You have to applaud every single player who runs out on the field. Well, that's why events like this are, are sold out. Will Warbrick now in a bit of trouble. Yeah, he looks like he's got a, a cut over the eye as well. I saw Cartwright coming up holding his out. It might have been another head clash. It's looking like the end of a Rocky Balboa fight. Everyone wants to keep going. Cuts everywhere. There's Craig Bellamy. South Sydney fans. They're up and about. The travelling burrow finding their voice. And will they be taking this form all the way to the first Sunday in October. Well, that's a long way off, but what a football team they are, Jason Demetrio's man. What a few challenges, though. It's a wide open competition. Just to see India Billy with the, that ladder there before. Two or three wins in succession. You can go flying up the ladder and you can go the opposite direction just as quick. Yeah, we're around 10 now, so we're heading towards the halfway mark of the season in a few weeks. Um, for teams like like the Cowboys who are playing, playing the Roosters tomorrow at 3 p.m. or at 4 p.m. Coverage starts at 3. That, the time's starting to run out for them. They, they need to get on their bike and start accumulating some points. Rabbitohs defuse that situation. Jed Cartwright. Sane Mill wrapped up. Six and a half minutes remaining. Liam Knight. So quick play the ball. Didn't get it, but here's Damien Cook. He's almost like the conductor of the orchestra, Damien Cook. What a little kick from Mitchell. Couldn't stay in. Play the ball. Goes into touch. He was kicking for Campbell Graham. Just the smartness of Damien Cook. He, he just Play saw a player getting back late on side, and, and the timing, the timing he accelerated was was perfect. That was the kick. He just gets out a dummy half, and then waits for his opportunity and uses his speed. Tom Myson Huth. Salah and Arrow. Welsh to Hughes. The 
just something late in the game here, Melbourne. For those cracks you were talking about, Salty, but they can't seem to find them at the moment. There's none in the Rabbitohs defensive line. Kick into the corner for Xavier Coates. And Tane Mill was there to the save ball. the day for South Sydney. Ken, play the ball, Ken. Two top four sides now in the last two weeks, South Sydney. Conceded only six last week Play against Brisbane, and so far tonight, inside the last five minutes, of only conceded six, and that was a kick off a kick to try to Remus Smith. Aaron Penne put down by Jai Arrow. Garlic to dummy half, goes on his own, he'll get there. A try for Bronson Garlic. His first try in the NRL, so well done to Bronson Garlic. Yeah, smart little play here by Bronson. Well, the Bunnies, they just went to sleep for a second on the kick. Harvey Norman replay, and then again on this play here, Bronson Garlic just waits for the Bunnies to come up past the football. It was Latrell Mitchell, straight between Latrell and Jai Arrow. It's been a long time since their, their last points, but the Melbourne Storm have found a try. Son of the great Sean Garlic, of course, uh, one of South's great hookers many, many years ago. Well done, Sean. Well done, Bronson. Be a couple of, pie, couple of pies waiting for you when you get back to your room. Bronson. That was a meat pie there. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, coming up tomorrow, Abbo on Chemist Warehouse, Sunday footy. The Roosters and the Cowboys get their taste of magic round fever here at Suncorp Stadium. Don't miss all the action right here from 3 o'clock on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Looking forward to Sunday footy tomorrow. Waiting on a, a kicking tee here. Less than four minutes to go. Probably local kids that have come. Thanks, buddy. In a ball. We'll, we'll wait. We'll, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Run back and get the tee. You can do what we will do this kids so someone can hold it for him. It's yeah. been a long day. <laughs> Magic round on Saturday. Oh. This is the third game for the ball yeah, kids. Doing a great job down there. Hold on, young fella. OK, let's go. Tony, run! Kids, this kid's a... Part of the, the ball kid team. They're not the ones that took their eye off the ball there, Billy, are they? I think they're on the other side, the Smiths. Right. They're all in a box. Cameron got his own box for them. <laughs> Hene. There they are, there's the Smiths. <laughs> Matilda's birthday tomorrow as well, so happy birthday to Matilda. Matilda, Jada and Jasper. Remus Smith. The right news now for Melbourne to Cameron Munster. Who kicks here, and it's not a bad one. Can he get a bounce here, Xavier Coates? He does, but he had to just turn towards the touchline and lost momentum. Campbell Graham stopped him. Here's the last. Munster. He's like a missile for Warbrick. Great take. He can score him and he can save him, Alex Johnston. Yeah, that was, uh, that was spectacular. Great kick. It was a try-seeking kick, but uh, Johnston got there first. Full stretch, look at that. He's a smart football player, Alex Johnston. Even defensively, he can read the play and use his speed to get to the danger. There's the top try scorers in Premiership history. Ken Irvine. That record has stood for a long time. Billy Slater there and number two. He'll go past me pretty quick. Yep. 
<laughs> yeah, right there. So, a bit of tension here in the closing minutes. South get a penalty. It's now to be a driver. You can't come in and tuck in. Billy and I, 211 tries between us. Here we go. <laughs> 21 tries, Paul. Hey. Here we go, mate. In 13, in 13 years. Do you have a favourite fat? Favourite yep. try? Yes. <laughs> Every single one I scored. <laughs> 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 You went in origin, fan. I got two. I got a three pointer and a four pointer. That's, that's how old I am. <laughs> Saw a shot before of Jason Demetrio, the South Sydney coach. He quite content standing next to Reggie Rabbit on the sideline. South looking for another try to finish things off. Only a couple of metres away. They go down a short side to try to give Alex Johnson a hat trick. And they go to Burgess. He might get to the line here, Burgess. Oh, nearly. Last tackle. They're set to run it here. They are going to try to give him a hat trick. Oh, he's put it there. Knock on off, Alex. Play the ball. Well, they'll fanned out to the oh, right-hand side, but they opted to go yeah, to the left-hand side. The and with Cody Walker there, you can't argue with that. Created an opportunity here. Just gets outside Katoa and well, very nearly a hat-trick for Johnston. Last play of the game. Anderson's tackled, and that is full time. Five in a row for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. And in magic rounds, it's glory, glory to South Sydney. The Rabbitohs, a premiership force in 2023. South Sydney, 28, have defeated the Melbourne Storm, 12.